good day folks this is Greg GD at Green Pastures Farm today uh, we're building closing in the section on the ram farm this is part of Brent's and Brittany's farm um, this is a section that the previous landowner didn't get fenced and so he was running the woven wire with a strand of barb on top and so that's what we're gonna do um, we had a these uh, corner posts laying around, those are uh, big old cedars. You got a lot of red in them. Um, show you what I mean by lots of red. Here's one that we cut yesterday. <laughs> yeah, there you go. If they don't have red in them, folks, don't use them as a corner post. They're not going to last. They're going to rot off. Uh, we actually use black locust for our, hor our horizontal member right here. And those are put in with uh, four inch deck screws. There's four screws in each end. And then we put our tighteners. These are the tensioners. And this is high tensile wire. I mean, that thing is like a fiddle string. And I just use a chainsaw and cut a groove in the top. And I cut a groove on the bottom. Right down there, as you can see. That keeps the wire in. And uh, you always go to the bottom of the post opposite the direction you're pulling from. So you're, you're pulling from there. It's coming down this hill. Always make sure your brace wire starts on the top of your brace and goes down. If you put that wire on the opposite way, put it up at the top on the corner here and then back over here, that wire is going to get loose the first time you put any pressure on it. Anyway, we take two by fours, and there's four uh, half inch bolts in there. Those bolts go all the way through that two by four. See that? And then this is a chain that has a ton, well, actually two tons. That's a two ton come along. It's hooked to uh, the old Dodge Ram Beast, and uh, we're pulling that thing tight. And the boys are up there putting the clippies on right now. When I mean clips, I'm talking, I'll just open up a bag over here. There we go. Sorry about the wind. This is real life. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's windy out here. <laughs> but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you all a little secret. I just showed the boys. They're up there with pliers and getting along kind of slow trying to put them on. And I had no time for teaching me this a long time ago, so I'm going to show you all this little trick. So there, there's your clippy. This is the way they come, already pre-bent. And you reach around, you pull it around your T-post like that. And then you stick that up right there. Let me grab my tool. I don't use pliers to start out. Look at this. You use a Phillips. You get out here and see it. That's a Phillips screwdriver. See what I did? I ran it through there. And then you take that Phillips screwdriver and just keep bending it like that. Okay. And you just keep bending that around. It goes so much faster. Anyway, once you get them all bent on with your, Phillip, your trusty Phillips screwdriver, then you go back and grab this with your pliers and tighten this side down too as well. But it, it really does. It speeds it up fivefold. If you're trying to get a pair of pliers, especially when you, when you get down in here where your spacing is closer together, see how close those spacings are? You can't get a pair of pliers in there. You sure as heck can get a Phillips screwdriver. And I like about a, I don't know, this is probably six inches. That's about perfect. Yeah, it's a six inch. I love that little screwdriver just for putting clippies on. Anyway, we're not going to take the pressure off of this fence. Isn't that a good looking fence? I mean, look at that. That's like tight. That's going to hold cattle. It's going to hold sheep, guard dogs. We've got a low spot right here around this corner. And so we'll cut some cedar logs and lay in right there and right there. Cedar lasts forever. Just lay it in there, butt it up against there, and that'll just keep your dogs from crawling in and out. Uh, coyotes, whatever. That, I mean, 
this is his property line folks this is what was here we just continued on with what they had but we had to set all the corners of course now down here in the bottom i'm not going to go down there we can see the posts that go clear down that bottom we're going to run steel cable i brought some steel cable over here and we're not going to put this fence down in that creek because if we do it will be gone here it is over here here's my steel cable <clears throat> this is quarter inch this is quarter inch cable folks i mean you talk about strong and i've got my uh i'm gonna put two clamps where are those at? here they are you know i'm gonna wrap it around my corners down there and go across that creek and uh here they are so you you run your cable through that and then back through it and you clamp it down real tight and i mean these things work but i use two for every joint use two of them if you don't use two you get a big rainstorm a lot of pressure on that cable it could pull your cable out anyway i've got one in over at docks it's been there for 20 let's see yeah 20 years 2001 and it's still there you'll see it we'll be building it and i'll do a video on how we build that with uh we've got some uh, corrugated metal that allows the water to hit that and it'll raise up because we're going to have the whole thing on eye bolts but if you take that nice fence and lay that down in the creek and you get a big rain and a log comes down through there we've actually got a double creek down here folks so we're going to do a double creek crossing <laughs> first time i've ever done one like that but i can see what's going to happen i mean it's going to take the fence out if you put a little more fence down in there we're just not going to do it but we did bring the tractor over here yesterday you talk about a time saver if you'd had to dig these by hand my gosh you'd have been over here a week we hit rock we can see the rock look at that there's some of the rocks that came out of that hole uh, we hit a dead log. Uh, <clears throat> There's a dozer came through years ago, and they, he buried some logs down in here. I hit one of those yesterday with that digger. I thought that digger was going to come unglued, but I just kept working at it real slow, and it finally chewed its way through that log. And always make sure if you use a digger like that, just go slow, idle speed, not don't rev your tractor up. And have your hand on it so you can jerk it back up real quick. The minute you feel resistance, pop it up. And keep your hole cleaned out. Don't sink your digger all the way down to the ground and then try and pull it out. You may not get it out. You may have to dig it out with a pair of pole saw diggers. Don't do that. Keep your hole cleaned with your tractor hydraulics as you go down. But yeah, it is a massive corner. They had these things cut 14 foot long. <laughs> and I cut... Well, that's how much I cut off right there. Four foot. So now they're uh, 10 foot long instead of 14. You don't need 14 foot corners. Not when you're building a 50 inch fence. I mean, that wire right there is 47. You put the barb on top. We're, you, we're using the posts that we had, folks. These are posts that we had stored up. And uh, they're still good. And uh, they don't, they're not as attractive as the ones up on top. Those are brand new ones. But... You know, they're back here on the back of this farm, and every one you have to buy is $5.50. And with metal prices increasing, I'm not sure what a steel post would cost you today, but these are all six and a half footers. And so every $5.50 you can keep in your pocket, you ought to do it. That adds up. There they are. There's, there's a pile of them right there. So these are the ones that are going to go on across. They're a little bit rusty, but some still have some paint on them. But, you know, the darn thing's the last probably another 40 50 years and i'm not gonna have to worry about it and uh probably won't be around 40 50 years <laughs> but anyway we're enjoying it out here today it's a beautiful day it's 72 degrees december 15th i don't know what's going on it's just a beautiful day we're not going to question it um working in a shirt the boys are all in their short sleeves they're all in their short sleeves and uh, we actually opened up the house today and shut down the wood stove. It was that warm. So but we're going to come back here and we'll put uh, one strand of barbed wire 
we'll go right here above this folks you don't want to get it too far up here the previous fence it is plenty high and what that allows you to do is a horse or a cow will stick his head between this and if it's real high up here he's going to stick his head through that so you want to keep it you know where they can't get their head between your woven wire and your, and your barbed wire so we're going to stick it up there about two and a half three inches well this this farm is really blossomed folks i mean look at that that's where johnny cleared all that cedar out of there that's just one of the many places and we went in there and seeded it with fescue and, and hay look at that it's like a dang golf course it's just beautiful green that's going to be some really nice grazing next year and it was a bath went from that to that so we're pretty excited about it we've really been had this on the back burner for a while and we finally got an opening to do it we got david and connor and isaac and myself we got a good work crew here and jan fed us good before we left so we got plenty of food in our bellies for energy and uh, we're going to whip this thing out so i'm going to get out of here and uh, we'll see you all down the road hit that subscribe button on the way out if you would and also that little bell click on that bell that way you'll get notified every time i post a video and i want to thank everybody for being loyal subscribers we just hit couldn't believe it the other day um it was 80 000 subscribers and this year we hit 36.4 million 36.4 million minutes that's quite a bit of time people are checking out what we're doing so i'm excited about it uh, i think there's a great opportunity for people to get back on the land and that's what we're trying to do people say but greg you're giving it all away free folks if i can help you out i'm not sugarcoating this thing you got to get out you're not be afraid to work get hold of some ground get the right animals on it get you some water some poly wire and some step ins and step in posts and go for it start on a small scale and work out you know it's doable it absolutely is if it's five acres or one acre or a thousand acres it doesn't matter anyway i'm going to get off to my soapbox on that everyone have a good one see you next time